So that, that leads me to one of the, uh, the interesting topics of today, Bitcoin, right? It's Bitcoin week in Miami. Um, so there's a lot going on around Bitcoin around the world. You're obviously a huge advocate of it these days and you believe in it, which is amazing um, to, to have someone in your position who, uh, who actually has done the research and uh, decided it was a good uh, investment and a good uh, secure, a way to secure the, the future. Um, so, so that leads me to the kind of tying engineering to this. So I love it when you uh, kind of bring the thermodynamic principles and the laws of thermodynamics into uh, explanations of Bitcoin and why you think it's uh, a very sound money because of that. So can you can you touch on that a little bit um, on thermodynamics and Bitcoin? Sure. I mean, I think that a, a lot of the times the Bitcoin story is, is told through um, an economic lens or a spiritual lens or a mathematical lens or sometimes a financial lens. And, you know, in the extreme, it gets called an uncorrelated speculative asset, which I hate. Yeah. Right. Um, I think the story that needs to be told much more is that Bitcoin is a masterpiece of monetary engineering. And there was no class in monetary engineering at MIT, but we studied servo mechanisms and cybernetics. And the principles of control system uh, are, are critical for aerospace engineering. The plane won't fly if you don't have stability. Avionics are all about control. Um, in electronics, you know, there's plenty of examples of control systems. And uh, in every other engineering discipline, people understand uh, the principles of controls and thermodynamics, uh, you know, the study of energy as it manifests itself in heat and work, right, is critical to making any machine work. And, um, you know, when I think about Bitcoin, I think, well, first of all, it's the first successfully engineered monetary network in the history of the world. One day they'll probably have a, a class or they'll have a degree in monetary engineering at universities uh, next to chemical engineering or, or electrical engineering. It makes sense. Um, what is money? Uh, well, I, I think most people don't ask the question. I think money is monetary energy. I think it's the apex energy. And as soon as you understand money to be energy, then it stands to reason that a monetary system that applies the the principle of conservation of energy <laughs> is a pretty good idea. If I create a bathtub with a you know with the sink open, it doesn't work. If I have a swimming pool with a leak in it, it doesn't work. If I have a ship with a leak, it doesn't work. A plane with a leak doesn't work. Electrical engineering systems, you know, and power grids with short circuits don't work. In fact, nothing in the engineering world, aqueducts don't work right? Bridges with a leak in them don't work. So every engineer knows you have to apply the laws of thermodynamics. You need to apply conservation of energy. If you're a mathematician, you'd call it arithmetic, right? The, the rule that <laughs> right. says that if I add nine plus nine, it better add up to 18 because on the day that it adds up to 19, some horrific thing is going to happen, right? Uh, so once you understand money as monetary energy and you understand Bitcoin as a monetary energy network, then uh, you start to appreciate the fact that it either does or does not respect the laws of thermodynamics. If it doesn't, then that means that uh, it has a leak. Uh, you know, the, the term, the colloquial term for a leak in, uh, in monetary economics is inflation. Inflation is the leak. And, you know, inflation is, is uh, a hole, you know, in the container and in the reactor and, and uh, your water, your electrical power, your uh, reservoirs, your hydraulic systems, your pneumatic systems, your fuselages and your hulls, they all fail. Everybody dies if you don't have conservation of energy. And so um, I... You know, I respect Bitcoin because A, it's a monetary system. B, it's engineered uh, in a conservative fashion. And the classic definition of conservative would be uh, derived from conservation of energy. If I give you 10 items, will you give me back the 10 items or will you change the number to 11 or downgrade it to nine? And if you're not conservative in your appreciation of energy, then no machine works.
nothing works.